So today's video will be very short. In this video, we'll see how to monitor your health. Yeah, this is really awesome device. So let's find out. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. It is better to say here, GLC PCB is a really beautiful PC making board app company where always you will get excellent benefit when you order your PCB. GLC PCB always take care of customer like you can live chat anytime for any inconvenience. Even you can choose any PCB color for free of cost. There are also many benefits such as SMT service, stencil, PCB panel, gold plate, so on. To take advantage of all those opportunities, Today upload your graph file by visiting the gels PCB website for few dollars. To make this device you need an Arduino Nano. Next a MAX30100 heart rate sensor module. And definitely for monitoring we need an OLED display. And next according to this diagram we need to connect everything. So I connect my OLED display with my Arduino Nano. And here you can see MAX30100 heart rate sensor module. This sensor measured your heartbeat and your body's oxygen level. So I connect the sensor with my OLED display because both are running in I2C interface. So finally you can see our connection is done, everything is connected very well. Just now time to left program for Arduino. So that is why I connect my USB cable to this Arduino. And here you can see this is my code. So I upload this code in my Arduino Nano. And here you can see my OLED display is showing me some interface. And here is written put your hand. So that is why I keep my hand on this sensor. And after 5 seconds later, you can see my heartbeat is showing here, even my body's oxygen level. So this is really awesome and see the result. This is pretty accurate. My heartbeat is 78 BPM and my oxygen level is 94, which is really good. But guys, this is not looking so good. This is very messy and this is not usable for any kind of human. So that is why I designed this in a PCB. And definitely I upload this PCB on GLC PCB website. After 7 days later I receive my box and see my PCB. This is really good and quite promising, right? So next I put every component on this PCB and after mounting everything it look like this. Not too bad, right? So finally I made a small 3D printed box for this for looking good. Maybe you can make a better box for it for more decent look. So you can see once again my oximeter is showing me good accurate result. So guys this is for today, if you don't like this video then you can dislike it and if you like it then you can subscribe my channel. See you in the next one.